mean, SPF. SPF is your best friend out here. Uh, 50. In shade. 50. SPF 50. Yeah. SPF uh, my go-to, Keith. Whatever. Yeah, the highest my go-to, SPF 50. But you saw Brittany with the hat as well, and uh, you've got the whole crew out there in the polos, the short sleeves. You just got to be prepared for this heat. We've been getting you prepared all week, expecting these temperatures to top out in the 90s each and every afternoon. And uh, we're getting close as we approach this 12 o'clock hour. 87 in McKinney feels like 89. Already feels like 91 in Denton and in Dallas, and we are going to be topping out in the mid and upper 90s this afternoon. We've currently got Sherman already sitting at 90 degrees. Hillsboro is close behind. Mineral Wells and Bridgeport, Graham, some of the spots that typically a little bit warmer sitting at 88 along with Denton. Fort Worth is at 86, but of course we are in the upper 80s at DFW. It's feeling like the low 90s forecasting a high of 97 degrees this afternoon, which is where we topped out at yesterday. When you look at the month of September as a whole, 23 days where we've been above average. It'll be 25 by the end of the month, and we're talking about likely being the second hottest September on record here in North Texas. So it is a warm opening weekend for the State Fair of Texas. 97 today, 96 tomorrow, which would be close to the record high of 98 for September 30th. And then Sunday, October 1st, you've got partly cloudy skies with a high of 95. Now, if you're not thinking about the fair, you're just thinking about those Friday night lights tonight, we actually don't have to talk about rain and storm. We've got mostly clear skies, warm temperatures though, mid and upper 80s, so everyone has to stay hydrated. I think the next time we're really going to be concerned about some stormy weather, likely coming in on Wednesday. Most of the rain stays to the west on Tuesday, but as this cold front approaches into Wednesday morning, we'll have some showers in the afternoon and evening. We'll likely have storms and then a little rain lingering into Thursday morning as well. But by Thursday afternoon, hopefully clearing out and drying out, and you've got the low 80s by Thursday and cooler weather next Friday as well. More news after the break.